fishing attics. This is the fishing attic with Rocky Ridge Outdoors. We was coming at you today with a uh, how to use the gulp minnow, the one inch gulp minnow. Maybe we can get a little focus. You're gonna need the one inch gulp minnow, one to 30 second ounce jig head, a bobber, and what we're going to rig this on, I just put new line on this, we have a Shakespeare, this is an ultralight action, it's a 4.8, works good for the fight, it's got a Shakespeare, I believe that's a Shakespeare, maybe 50, it's 5.2 to 1 on it. Everybody always shows you or says to use the gulp minnow, but they don't show you how to, to rig it. I went fishing the day before yesterday, and I was catching them one after another after another. My other video, GoPro here, I'll show you. Seven black. You notice the doors are open. I had it plugged into a power bank. Well... I dropped my pit bull pliers. That's for a review on my saddlebags on the Perception Outlaw. And uh, I looked down, the water looked like it was maybe a foot deep. I jumped in, it was waist deep, and I had my external power pack course that the camera filled up with water and corrupted all the video. I've got a, a short, and I've got some photos I'll plug in here on what the, the uh, gulp minnow will do. So first, we want to take a jig head. I've got four pound Mr. Crappy line on this pole. It's just ultra light. Let's get us a little jig here. Yeah, right there. See if I can show you. Little bitty, little bitty jig. I'm just going to tie a quick Pizzantine knot. You know, these old eyes. Right here, just go around just like that. A few times. Come back through the top loop. Real small line. I'm going to tie the hook on. Trim the excess off. These pit bull wire cutters are the best on the market. Love them. That's what I dropped in the river and went in after them. I wasn't going to let them go. That little Pizzantine knot. There we go. If you can see that. Put it down towards my shirt right there. Good and sturdy. These gulp minnows. Uh... I don't remember what I paid for them. They open and they seal back or you can get a container to put them in. See here, we'll get one out. See if they can show you what I did. One inch gulp minnow. You wanna take your hook. Remember you're paying fishing, you wanna go through the gulp minnow like that. You want this gulp minnow to be straight when you're finished. Push it up on there. Like this. If I can hold it by the line. Get it as straight as you can. That minnow is going to float down like so. Take your bobber, go about 12 inches above, go around and again, and then let your spring back up on that bobber. You can use different kind of floats. So you've got your bobber 12 inches below. You've got your gulp minnow. You throw it out. There's enough weight right here. It'll set your bobber straight up and down in the water. 
like this. And once you see it go down, of course, y'all know what to do from there. These gulp minnows, I'll post some photos into my catch. I did a short on, on that, on the stringer. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it was a great day. I wish I could have got all the video footage. But if it can go wrong, it will. I did order me two uh, new GoPro 10s. They're on the way. They'll be here this week. So this weekend, I don't have anything going on. I'm going to try to make sure I get all my work done this week. It's supposed to rain all week if it don't blow the river out. But if it does, I will uh, turn around and uh, go to the lake and fish. But this is the fishing addict. Just wanted y'all to know how to use the gulp. One inch minnow. You can get different sizes. This is the smelt color remember smell it's worth every bit of it if you want to fill your stringer up you want to fill it up with big brim bluegill crappy everything that hit this I, I wouldn't have believed it until i did it you can get 132nd ounce jig heads 164th is slower you want it to drop down in there slow you want a little bit faster, you can go a little bit faster, but I wouldn't recommend it on the one inch. The 30, the uh, 130 seconds ounce drops pretty quick. All right. Guys, it's, it's not a great long video. Hopefully we'll get the cameras in this week. We'll have everything going, and this is the fishing attic. We'll see you on the next one, but hopefully this helped y'all out. Remember, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's fast, free, and easy. Share the video. Tell your fans, friends. Don't forget, take a kid fishing this weekend. All right. Guys, y'all keep the lines tight.